Today's the day, friends. Journey mapping is here. It was teased at Inbound. It is now in public beta. If you have Marketing Hub Enterprise, you can now access this. You don't even have to opt into anything. So let's look at how it works. Here we are on the reports page. And if we go to this create a report button, there's now customer journey reports right here. You can see the beta tag. We click on this and look at this. This is so fun. I love this so much. Um, you can select a list or lists or certain properties you want to filter your contacts by, or you can just look at all contacts and you can set a date range. One important thing to note is while this is in beta, you are limited to 30 days here. That will not be the case when this is out of beta, but here in the beginning, we are starting with 30 days and, uh, and that's going to be okay. Uh, so then here on the far left, you can choose life cycle stages or, or interactions, and you can add up to seven touch points here. And, and look at these. You've got CTA clicks and views. You've got all the different form things, all the different marketing things. Look, it, with, with payments, if you're in the U.S., you can do payments things. I love sales, emails, sends, opens, clicks, and replies. Sequence bounces, meetings booked through a sequence. Look at all this stuff. Website pages, um, and then of course all your custom behavioral events if you've created any of those. But let's just add, uh, let's just create uh, uh, some some steps here. What if uh, someone was, uh, you know, delivered an email? Oops, uh, delivered an email, and then they open the email, and then they clicked a link in the email, and then um, I don't know, maybe they su submitted a form or something, right? You can add up to seven of these. And uh, I'll just run this report because it takes a few seconds. But these things here, you don't just drop them in. You can. I mean, I just did, and you'll see what happens. But uh, you can also uh, filter them in, in various ways. You can make steps optional if you want. You can select a filter to, uh, to a property to filter by. And look, this is called a, a Sankey chart. I've been mistakenly calling it a snaky chart because it's like a snake, but it's Sankey. Uh, whoops. Uh, but anyway, you can see all the drop-offs here. But look, if you if you make these steps optional, then you can get a, a, a report where you can see which steps people are, are skipping and you'll get the different paths and things. Uh, if you want for any of these, if for sales emails, if you want to look at specific templates, sequences, if you want to look at a specific sequence, uh, whatever you want to do, and you can start getting this journey laid out visually and seeing the, the breakdown here. This is really powerful. It's so flexible. It's so fun. Again, Marketing Hub Enterprise, you have this. You don't have to opt in. You can just go try it out right now. I encourage you to do so. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And I'll be back next week with a whole bunch more.